Grüezi YouTube, hier ist die Ödergei, wie ist das wie Sex sind. Uh, I uh, so a problem with my um, Titigo Lora T3 V1.6, I think they're called. Um, they, uh, when the battery was below 3.4 volts, they went into a boot loop, which looks like this. See? Now, bzzz, reset. And then it goes blink, blink. Bzzz, reset again. And they never come alive. Um, so, uh, I analyzed it a bit. And I saw that in the mm, in the schematic here is there is an LDO like this and then I saw that this is this one here and this one and uh, this one goes from here to this pin for the LoRa chip and this one from this pin goes here for the power input for the ESP32 and yeah and these are uh, linear uh, regulators and they need a difference from input voltage to output voltage of 0 0.1 volt so they make output voltage of 3.3 volts minus 0 0.1 uh, plus 0 0.1 then gives 3.4 and if the battery discharges beyond uh, lower than 3.4 volt we have problem and then we get the boot loop so um then let me see. I did some modifications. So I had uh, this chip here. Um, this one here. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> yes, of course. I will now delete this. Okay, good. Um, I can scribble again. Okay, this one. This one is an LTC3440. I just had this lying around, so I used this. Um, this is a so-called buck boost converter, which means it can convert up if the battery voltage is below 3.3 volts, and it can con convert down if the battery voltage is higher, like 4.2 volts. So um and uh, then the this one is the output and i just distribute here onto these two pins and that fixes the problem uh, i also removed the the bulky uh, antenna connector and used the ipex here because this way i can make uh, easier to make like waterproof housings and stuff anyway like this um, and then uh, there's another picture I need to show ah yes the proof then this is the proof here with the modification I can discharge the battery down to 2.79 volt at least um yes so this gives uh maybe double the uh, usable battery capacity more or less um oh yes and uh, the funny um module here of course you don't have to make it yourself you can go to aliexpress and buy this one very cheap, very cheap. And um, 
this has the exact same dimensions as the board that I made. And uh, I also, as you can see, uh, I made, I connected this largish um, electrolytic capacitor. This is a 400 and 470 microfarad thing at 6.3 volts and put I connected it to the output of my buck boost regulator so it's connected to this and this point here um, and this made it even more robust um, sometimes obviously when they start up they make uh, some load spikes and then uh, it goes into the boot loop and the capacitor it helps even more because sometimes it even still did a funny boot loop but much less but with the electrolytic capacitor connected to it it was steady. So that's it.